All right, here we are up at the park. Me and Jeff are gonna check the dad out. He's been up here twice. It says that it hasn't been looking too good for my 8th Street bees. So depressed. So what we're expecting to see here when we walk up is Jeff's bees flying happily and my hive probably being robbed out by now. So it's a decent day where the bees are flying after some very long cold snaps and just what we expected. Jeff Rose got bees. I don't. It's a very sad day here at the plantation. But we're going to get into here. Alright, so we're going to peel into this thing. Got the inner cover flipped over. Got some sticks up here to hold it up for ventilation. Can you believe I didn't bring my hive tool? Don't I got one. It. I got one. Right on. Oh, where's my hat? Oh, cool. Let me try it. Oops. Right. Jeff, we're always thinking ahead. All right, my candy board looks very untouched, as you can see, so they died pretty soon. Look at the bottom of the candy board. They didn't even get into it at all, so these bees were doomed from the beginning, I guess. <clears throat> got dead bees on the top. No, they're tearing, got no beetles in the traps. All down here. It's, that's what it's yeah, it's these all are just over. the stragglers probably looking for food. I don't know if they're starved or what, but let's go ahead and pull some frames. Honey. Cap. Capped honey. Yeah. Empty frame. Just kind of. Oh, the cluster looks like it didn't even make it out of the bottom box, as you'll see in a minute. So here they are, just kind of stringing up here. Wow, you know, it's like it's like they didn't even die in a cluster. Well, we'll see. It's kind of interesting. Uh -huh. This frame's really heavy, so tons of honey in here, uh -huh. actually. There's my queen right there. Yellow dot. Nice no shit. She's my friend. That's the eighth street queen that we got from Gary, who's making some of the best queens in this area because when she started laying this fall, uh, spring when I queened the hive, she was prolific as ever. This was unquestionably the one hive that I thought would really make it through the winter. And here it's gone. Plenty of honey. Plenty of honey. You get very heavy frame. <clears throat> Tons more honey in this frame. So I had all this honey positioned over the cluster. They didn't even make it up to the second box. So let's just pull this off. And you know, you know what's what funny? We just found the queen up I here. Know, way up there. It's like she wasn't in the cluster. This looks to be the cluster down here in the bottom box. So this is totally a strange, strange dead out that um, I am hoping somebody can comment and tell me what they may think. Okay, so here we are. Tons of dead bees on the bottom the screen, bad. as Jeff, we expected, and then get get the deep bees in front of the hive. Jeff also told me there was just a carpet of dead bees in front yeah. of my hive right there. Um, the last cold day he came here. Like. But uh, the, the number of dead bees on the bottom of this box is just disheartening. That's kind of like a cluster. I mean, these bees, they really didn't look tightly clustered. Look at that. Oh, you can see, you know, see a lot of their abdomens down in the holes. I mean, that would suggest starvation. But you know, I mean, I've seen dead outs where it's just a big patch of all the bees down in the hole. You see their butts sticking out. But uh, this one seems to have a little bit of everything. They have them trailing up in the top box. There's signs of starvation here. The other thing that um, I'm looking for is a new, uh, new one I've read, been reading about, guanine. I don't know if I told you about this yet, Jeff, but guanine is the excretious of mites. And it's usually left on the tops of the cells. So you hold the frame with the bottom bar away from you. And you're better with a light source behind you. So we're actually going to turn this around. Let's put the sun behind our back. Okay, so we're looking at this frame. Top bar away from us. And we're looking on the ceilings of the cells. And you see those little white 
mm -hmm. ugly things up there. Actually, they're kind of yellow. See them up in here? Uh -huh. Okay, I mean, that, honestly, it could be this guanine that I've been reading about where your hive, if it's the most common reason you would see guanine means that your hive was taken over by mites. The weird thing is, is correct me if I'm wrong, but every time we've been out in this hive this last season, we didn't see any mites. As hard as we looked, mm -hmm. as hard as I looked, um, we didn't even have beetles. It's also significant to note that these two hives were put in this out yard the first time this season. This is our first season in this out yard. No bees been here, and so we thought that it'd be they'd do really well. Well, we have yet to get in the Jeff's hive. It looks like it's doing pretty good. We're gonna think, assume that that's doing pretty well by the time we get into it when it's warmer. But my hive apparently got wiped early. Look at all the dead ones down in the bottom of the box. Look at that. I mean, see, there was I had great populations, and I'm seeing them all over the bottom board and on the front. I mean, I there's plenty of honey. There's plenty of honey around and above the clusters. So. I can't say that these bees starved. I mean, there ain't no way. <laughs> Are there no pollen? Let's look at this. You know what I mean? Three eighteen pack pollen. Um, that's a good question. We got to look back in there. You know what? I think that they might not have had pollen. What the hell? Checking these yeah, so much there ain't fair. Yeah. You're also looking at the frames that have brood in it, because that's where you're gonna usually find them. You know, in any open combs, not really what you want to look for. But like maybe here where there was I'm seeing it here and there. If if that in fact is this guanine, I see it I mean it's not in every cell, but I'm seeing it on the but ceiling. That's a little spec. Yeah. See, if it was candy sugar falling out of the board from the top, it's usually collected on the bottom of the cell. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Right. It's like I want to I wanna empty this out while we're here. Might as well take this, take this one home and get it, get it ready for the spring, you know? I mean, look at that. There's the <laughs> carpet of death. We're going to go ahead and salvage as many of these bees as we can to send off to this bee lab. For, a hive, for this hive, it'd be the right thing to do. You know, I mean, there's, I'm feeling the heavy honey frames up here. I mean, definitely wasn't starvation, but these guys were all over. And the queen was up in the top box, quite removed from the cluster. I'm gonna have to ask the scientists on the BL list. Oh, come if, this, uh, yeah, Saturday. Um, if, if what their diagnosis is on something like this. See, I'm not seeing. I mean, plenty of honey and just only a couple abdomens down in the in the cells. But um, see, I mean, like if there was a whole area of that, uh -huh. that suggests Weird. starvation. Oh, really? Yeah, because they're in there eating all the honey out, and that's where they die. But the problem is, is there there's honey all over in this hive. The cluster at one point in time was big enough to warm up all this surrounding honey for them to be able to consume it. I, I mean, they can't eat it too cold, I don't believe. So. The cluster was big enough to warm it. I, they should be able to traverse these frames okay. It's just Can't. small patches of it. I mean, if it was like a whole frame of that, then I'd think starvation. Oh man, okay. All right, we've got to wrap this up. All right, so that's it. We're gonna send these off to the bee lab and uh, I will report back later.